guys, welcome to Vlog September. Um, I know I've fallen a little bit behind. I am in David's room right now. If you guys hear background noise over there, it's because I'm at a party. Yay! And here's my beer. Woo! So, cheers. Okay, so today's vlog is going to be on how to throw a party. So, this party that I'm throwing was sort of impromptu. It is a party for my good friend Simone. So, happy birthday, Simone, if you're watching. So, um, I actually kind of, this was like a last minute thing that I did with her boyfriend. So I wanted to give you guys some tips on how to throw a party. Have an idea of how you want to send out the invitations. Are they going to be paper invitations? That would be for something like a bridal shower or whatever. But I really like evite.com because actually that saves paper. And even though I am traditionalist in terms of parties a lot of times, evite.com is great because you actually get everyone's email addresses. You can people RSVP a lot more easily than they do to paper invitations. And I think paper invitations at this point are just best for like weddings and stuff like that, but like super formal events. So anyhow, um, <clears throat> so that's for the invitations. For this particular party that I'm at, it was just invite by phone. Um, it was a very small, um, intimate gathering, probably 15 people, maybe 20 at the most. So a very small little party, just kind of friends hanging out. Anyway, so the next thing you want to do is consider decorations. Are you going to do them? What are they going to be? Um, okay, so I have to tell you, something that I love, things that are staples that you will always need, or either some sort of string to hang stuff up, so I like yarn if it's kind of like a more naturey theme or fish line which is great because it's clear um, other things that are good are construction paper to have um, you can make like banners out of those little signs stuff like that um, and the other thing that is like the best the best the best to have that I found is plastic tablecloths like the kind that are like paper thin vinyl tablecloths because you can cut shapes out of them you can make different things um, out of them I've made um, I had a Portal 2 themed party for a friend, um, Hey Yuen, and that was, um, we cut out like the guy coming out of the wall, like the avatar that's like this or whatever. Um, we cut that out of a tablecloth, and the, these tablecloths are like a dollar. Um, at Kylie's baby shower, we did um, a giving tree theme, and the tree was made out of two different colors of um, brown tablecloth. So, again, that was like two bucks. The best kind of tape to use is painter's tape because it sticks. It, it definitely will last for the party length, and it doesn't hurt your wall when you peel it off. So, those are some decoration tips. And so, inviting people. What I like to do, like I said, is you know pick your pick your space. If it's a birthday party, I think the best thing to do is just Facebook um, events. If it's like a little bit more of a formal party, like a baby shower, a wedding shower, evite. If it is a wedding, obviously, um, you know, paper invitations, and that's an entirely separate conversation. So, anyway, then once you get to the party, just put on some music that you think everyone's going to like. And if you're a perfectionist like me, don't expect everything to go just as you planned. Just kind of do, you know, go with the flow. I'm the kind of person that likes to pick up after people, but don't do it too much, even though I think I do sometimes pick up after people too much. But don't do it too much. But make sure that you also leave the house looking kind of as you found it. Maybe leave up some of the decorations because maybe they'll want them there the next day, but try to make sure, you know, things are under control. I'm in my late 20s, so obviously it's not, you know, our parties aren't like massive keggers where people are spilling crap all over the walls, but like, you know, people still get drunk and whatever. And always make sure that everyone has a safe ride home, and that's about it. So if you guys want any more tips or tricks for parties, let me know because I love throwing them, and I'd love to see you guys at them, and I'll talk to you later. Bye. And again, chin chin.